Hello. Welcome in. Getting myself set up here. It took me a little bit longer to get my audio going than normal because of all of the tweaking that I did after or, or during uh, my stream with Kybear and uh, and Cab. So had to like go back and like fix everything that I changed. So it should be good, but always let me know if there are any problems with the audio and I'm happy to tweak things uh, while we're playing. Let's see. So from what I remember of where we left off, we had gone to the quantum moon, started experimenting around there, and then I started reading in the logs and I think I know how to get to the sixth area. Um, so we're probably going to start there and see if my understanding of how to get past that barrier uh, works. Um, so we will we'll jump in and we'll see. Hey Kim! Welcome. I'm also probably- I'm gonna say this a couple of times during the stream, uh, just as people roll in, but I'm gonna try to go for no hints during this stream. Um, uh, just because last stream I was, um, very welcoming of help, and generally I am very welcoming of hints. Um, uh, just for my own gameplay style, I'm- I'm fine with that, ordinarily. In this particular game, um, I think that all of the information that I need is handed to me, uh, just not always when I exactly need it. Hey, Orc. Welcome. Um, so if there's ever a problem that I don't quite understand, it, I'll, I'll get that answer later, right? So I think I'm going to be a little bit more strict about that this stream. We'll see how it goes. Um, and I'll say that a couple of times as people roll in. How are you both doing, Orc and Kim? Harvey has been all over the place today. I moved his tower a little bit, so it's like in arm's reach of me now. So if he comes up and sits on it, I can pet him. Uh, and I think he's a little bit uncomfortable with that. He, he likes to have his space, but he doesn't like to be uh, interrupted when he's sleeping. You're going to be lurking, but still watching. Sounds good. Yeah, I'm probably only going to stream for a couple hours because I, I do want to watch your stream work. Um, I'm invested in the uh, Life is Strange. I was able to land on the surface of the quantum moon. I found a dead Nomai uh, in a spacesuit near the South Pole. Nomai shrine that wanders about quantum moon. And then the sixth location. So this is what we're going to try to figure out today. Um, yeah, so the, the shrine on the quantum moon must be on the moon's north pole. So I think I know how to get it there. Um, but yeah, because this shuttle is always on the south pole. So we just have to get to the opposite side of this shuttle. And then try to finagle things so that the uh, the uh, the shrine appears in the right spot. So that's our goal, and that's really the only goal I have for this particular stream. Um, maybe depending on how long this takes, I'd like to go back to the twin planets. Um, uh, doing well. Sorry for the delay. You're brushing your daughter's hair. No, yeah, no problem. Um, um, I'm doing, I'm doing well. I'm a little bit, uh, sad that one of my favorite streamers, oh, Mark, speak of the devil. Oh, thank you for the raid, man. I'm gonna give you a quick shout out. I was just saying that I'm, my mood is, is slightly soured because, um, uh, you're, 
uh, taking taking a break from from streaming soon for an indefinite amount of time, but. But thank you for the raid. I appreciate it. Uh, Alright, so I want to change my frequency to quantum. And we're trying to find the quantum moon. Which, I don't know if it's actually over there. There's so much quantum stuff! Hey, Allie. Hey, Dave. The, yes, the Ray Raid puns. I don't see... Hey, Keon. Yeah, I started a few weeks ago. Maybe, yeah, maybe two months ago at this point. Thanks for the follow. So mostly streaming a bunch of like indie stuff. So that's, right now I'm just trying to find the quantum moon. Oh, thank you, Ellie, for gifting a sub to Dave. Oh, thank you. I need to get um, uh, badges and stuff for uh, for when you gift and and things and bits and all that. It's on my to-do list. Is that it? That looks like it. Yeah, that's it. All right. Don't go into the sun. It is too early to fall into the sun. Oh, it's closer than I thought it was. That's close enough. Alright. Gotta have the the mod squad sub well, don't feel pressured, y'all. Don't feel pressured. Yeah, you can wave now. So I have new emotes coming. Um they um are waiting to get approved. It's taken longer than they did previously. Uh so they'll they'll be here. But I've got a new tier one um, and a new tier two coming. Well, everything kind of shifted around. There's one new emote, one new available to tier one. That's what I mean. All right, so we're trying to find the South Pole. Got to find that. There it is. Okay. Also, um, new thing for this stream, uh, as people are rolling in, so uh, I've been pretty lenient on and encouraging of hints um, during my previous streams. On this stream, I'm going to try to do no hints. If I have a question, it'll be like yes or no answers, I think, just because on the previous stream I was asking questions and then finding the answer myself about uh, like 20 minutes later. So... I, I want to make sure that I'm not, like, going too easy on myself to solve these puzzles, because I know I can do it, right? So, I'll, I'll say that a couple times as people roll in, just because it's kind of new. This game, you want to unlearn it and discover it again. Yeah, yeah, I can totally see why. This game is amazing. I just... Come on. Alright. I <laughs> just let you know if you need to handle anyone. I don't think it'll come to that. Um, 
I think at, at, at worst, I'm probably just gonna, like, let people know. Just be like, hey, just FYI, we're changing things up a little bit. I don't think we'll have to, like, give anybody a hard time. So... I, I feel like my gravity is off more than it normally is. Also, I feel like I normally have a little notification about my scout. Maybe I don't get that on the quantum moon? Uh, a command. I don't have a command. I should make one. That is a good idea. It is in my rules, so it's just kind of, um, uh, well, just kind of, I guess, enforcing those rules now, but. You think you've missed a stream or two? Um, when did we get here? We got here on the last stream. Uh, this isn't gonna work the way that I thought it would. I thought that I would be able to see my... No, see like a little notification about my scout and then go to the opposite pole. No, 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 oh shit. Okay, I was worried I was gonna like lose the uh... Now I'm just getting lost. I hope this is at the North Pole. Well, it's gone now, so... Damn it. The puns, the puns. Okay, so this is not the pole. How? Alright. Thinking. Oh, what about my ship? Will I be able to see my ship? What if I just walk? Okay. I'm guessing that I won't. I don't think I will. Huh. Oh, that's interesting. So the ship moves too. So the South Pole moves. That's interesting. And it's back again! <laughs> Alright. Uh, if I go back out, it's gonna be gone though. Oh, okay. Wait, no. This is the... Hold up. Now I have a question. Well, th this is for myself. Question for myself. Um, if the... May maybe, it maybe it doesn't. I w my thinking is that if the... Uh, if that shuttle moves, that means therefore... Uh, the South Pole has moved. I'm wondering if because this took its place, that means that this is the North Pole. I guess this probably won't move as long as that's there, which is also unfortunate. So I really need to have my shuttle on the... or my scout on the shuttle. Hey Marcus! Welcome! Not yet. Where are the anglers? Not in this stream. I need a break from the angler fish. That was too much. 
come on. Go to the sixth location. I just want to confirm that this didn't work. Uh, come on. The lantern, lads. I like that. Yeah, I've been, t like, whenever someone asks me how I'm enjoying this game, I'm just like, I have a new phobia of anglerfish. <laughs> There must be a better way to do this to get it to the sixth location. Come on. Is there, Mark? Is there really? Aha, alright. Let's confirm that this did not work. Yes. I have confirmed. Okay. I guess I have to close the door. So. Alright. Get me out of here. It is wild that every time I come out here it's different. I guess because it's a different location so the planet is different. So alright, so here is this again, but it doesn't matter because that's just going to move. I need to find the shuttle. We are looking for the shuttle. Poor guy. Yeah, where is shuttle? My ship is, is gone. I have accepted this. I just need to find the shuttle. There it is. Okay. So. My current assumption of how this works is that we know that the shuttle represents the um, the South Pole. Therefore, we want to go to the North Pole. Other note that I have is that it seems like these areas are too small to literally get to the opposite end of the world. So, what I might have to do is go to one of the other versions, one of the other locations. Right now we're just kind of waiting for the thing to pop up. I just keep looking around. It should spawn itself. There it is. All right. I'm just not sure how this is gonna work without being able to see my marker. That's my question. Maybe I only need to have a uh, the marker on it, and then the the building will just move itself. But also, will this be able to move if I've got the camera on it? Lots of questions. I might not. I think it might not. Alright, so the other thing that I'm keeping in mind is that I've been to this tower uh, and not some of these other ones, so there might be some rules that I just don't know yet. Yeah, quantum entanglement. And then recall the rule of the sixth location. So I think the sixth location rule is that it has to be on the North Pole. And we've seen that we know the quantum imaging, but we don't know this one yet. 
where shuttle? Uh, oh, that's from like when we were looking for it a minute ago. Yes. Oh, it did move. It did move. Oh, because my uh, scout. Alright. This one we can go around the whole planet. So it might maybe it needs to be this one. Yeah, I also kinda had to leave. Because I didn't have my ship. So, okay. Oh, there, there's my ship. Look at that. Will we ever get to it? Probably not. be nice if we could just so I can I don't know it I do wish a little bit I guess I'll just run out of oxygen because it'd be nice if there was a uh, easier way to kind of like reset if you lose your ship and you can't really do much Actually catching up to it. Oh no, I'm just getting sucked into giant steam. Uh, that's good. We'll stay away from the trees. We need to use up all of our oxygen no matter what. where we can learn more about the quantum stuff. Come on. Eat that oxygen. Oh, Dave, can you be bad cop now? For the bark puns? Oh, I missed the mark. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Gotcha. I mean, so so here's the thing with the puns, right? I've got I've got my bad cop, that's Dave. I've got my good cop, that's Allie. And then I've got well, I, I guess maybe uh Lou might be my my good cop with the pro puns. And then there's like alley and garlic, which are in the middle. So if like, if you guys are there, I don't care if you do three second timeouts for puns. <laughs> like nothing, nothing longer than a couple of seconds, right? Like I don't want to actually punish people, but for the for the laugh, I think that's funny. <laughs> Sorry, I know this is boring, I just like can't get out of the water. Sixty whole seconds. Although I will say, if it's a genuinely good pun, I don't think anybody you can't mute anybody. It has to be a bad pun. You won't time them out unless it's really bad, you don't want to abuse the power. Yes. Hey, Somnific. Yeah, we're just, we're, we're forcing a reset right now with my oxygen. Um, welcome in. We are um, at, uh, at, at the part of the game where we're exploring the quantum moon and trying to understand how that works. Um, slowly but surely figuring it out. I 
tell that you're like power and dates and that's so mean. All right, cool. Here we here we go. We'll, we will reset. Yeah, this game is awesome. I'm really into this game. Should you and Ali swap for for like neutral cop and bad cop? I don't know. Whatever. You can be whatever cops you want. I just thought it would be it would be funny if there was like arguing m among the mods of if the pun was bad enough to mute. <laughs> Just, just like a small amount of discourse in the chat over puns, I think is funny. And I trust, I trust you guys to not uh, uh, go overboard. So, makes it fun, good. Speaking of making things fun and also adopting streaming things from Mark, I've got a new command. For, uh, question of the day. I went and set that up real quick after Mark was like, please. Favorite kind of cake. I have to remember to keep it updated. Character Velvet. Yeah, we were talking about this the other day. And I'm so torn because on Tuesday, I'm planning to do a baking stream. And I'm trying to decide if I should do two batches of carrot cake, um or red velvet, or if I should um, uh, do one batch of each or something. You gotta give rewards for people who type the command when you haven't updated it. Ooh. Is that what is that what you do, Mark? Like, if you haven't updated it and they use it, then you, you do, like, the free vote. I don't know what I'll do. Maybe, like... I, I don't know. I don't have very good, like, point rewards yet. Um... So we've been to Dark Bramble. I've actually been to the to uh to that rocket, but I didn't um uh You know what? We should go back to Ember Twin because there was a lot of stuff there that I haven't sorted out yet. Yeah, the high energy lab. I'd like to get into the high energy lab. Yeah, you've said that a couple of times, and at first I thought it was a troll, because, like, there was one, I, like, one or two times I came in and, like, right at the start of the stream I tried to do it, and I don't know if, like, someone else had gotten there first or whatever, but I was, like, just confused. I didn't know if it was real. <laughs> yeah, that's been a thing this whole time. Is carrot cake a real thing? Carrot cake is amazing. Yeah, so, actually, fun fact about carrot cake, it got really popular because, um... Uh, back during, I, I don't know, when the USA was being col colonized, um, sugarcane was difficult to get a hold of, but carrots have the highest amount of sugar of any vegetable, and those were more plentiful, so they used them to make cake. I really like carrot cake with, like, some walnuts and crushed nuts with, uh, cream cheese icing really nice also I'm assuming I think that the timer doesn't run when I'm in menus like this I, I hope that's the case carrot cake Oreo cookies that sounds amazing onion apple candy what You don't want no carrot slice when you eat cake. I mean, it kind of just dissolves the carrot. Um, okay. Oh, and the other place I really want to go is the sun station. I cannot for the life of me figure out how to get to the sun station. I don't even have any entries about it. I need to learn more about it because I want to go there very badly. Uh, talk to me about uh, without spoiling. So for this run, I'm going to do no hints, no spoilers. Um, because uh, I have allowed hints in some of my previous streams. And for other games, I don't care. 
for this game, I think it's too dependent on me figuring things out and making the connections myself. So if something comes up that I have a question about, I will ask a yes or no question um, to, to, you know, get an answer without directly spoiling it. Or, or like, getting the answer by accident, you know? landing, but we'll take it. You'd be so mad if someone gave you candy, candied onion saying it was apple. <laughs> is, that a, is that a real thing? Where does this go? I don't actually know. It is so dark, what the heck? I think this is new. Friends, if you find any sign of Cullis, I implore you to tell me. He vanished without a trace during our research trip and he has been missing ever since. Um, Melloray, some uh, some of us from the Sunless City are here to help search for Collis. Can you tell us more about your expedition? You have my gratitude, Burr. Collis and I were studying the cave's geology. We hope to learn more about a unique and wandering rock that visits several different caves in the area. Where was young Collis lost, Melloray? He disappeared in the cave at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the North Pole. Happened in an instant without warning. I turned away from Collis to examine a sample and turned back. He simply wasn't there anymore. He had a limited supply of air. I'm afraid for him. Hypothesis. We will learn more by examining the northern lake bed cave where Collis disappeared. Uh, search quickly, everyone. We have no time to squander. Alright, so we have to go to the North Pole. Man, it is so dark in here. Eh, it's gone. That will never, like, not surprise me. I don't know, it's always just like, ah! stop wasting my fuel. I do that too much. Oh no, don't take me. We'll go back around. Onions are tasty? Like, onion candy? I don't even understand onion candy. Oh, I think I have been here before. I don't really remember what this is, though. Except for- oh, you know what? This might just be the regular way in. Yeah. make you gag. You love onions. Uh, it's on the other side. Oh, oh no. This is fine. Everything's fine. Here we go. Let me go up and over. One 
once I get to my ship, I can just refuel, so I realized I don't really have to worry about it. friends. <laughs> Mark has left until Allie goes away. Oh no. <laughs> I've um, I don't cook with onions very often, but what I've started to do recently is I, I've been cooking a lot more with shallots specifically. So where's the sun? Sun. It shouldn't be hard to find. There it is. Okay, so I want to get to the opposite side to a crater over here. Maybe it's talking, but this is like the launch pad. Have I been- I think I've been up here. I've been up here, but I don't think I know what this is yet. Oh yeah, this is like a... a map. Almost. Pretty sure I've looked at this. Yeah, this is talking about the quantum moon. Yeah, I've, I've read this. It's talking about how the quantum moon exists. Pretty sure I looked at that too. Pretty sure I've listened to this. No coincidence that the one telling us onions are bad is practically named a lie. <laughs> you could eat onions only! Like apples, just eat them, just like that's it? Oh my god. I can have them like with other things, I guess. I don't like raw onion, so it kind of has to be cooked, but like, I feel like if you broil anything, it's great. It doesn't matter what it is. If it's broiled, it's, it's delicious. Okay. this thing that I'm that they're having me look for because this side is the north I think unless it I don't know how do you determine north? Because I thought it would just be like... Well, I guess it would... It keeps... It moves. I don't know what the north is. sun for a second. I want to read the ship logs. Also, I have to scoot back a little bit because the sun is in my eyes. 
Tell me something mechanically that'll tell me what's north. Uh, is, is it something that, like, the game has already taught me and I just, like, don't know yet? Because, like, if it's something that I'll figure it out in, like, 20 minutes, then I'd, I'd rather not know and I'll just figure it out. You think what, uh, Somnific wants to tell me is fair? Alright, I, alright, I trust you. What, what, what is the direction note? Unless it's not what you think it is. I mean, fair enough. I'm probably gonna have to reset anyways because of... Well, I guess this is all filling... When you're in landing mode and close enough to the planet, there is a UI element that will point out the north and south poles of a planetary body. You do not want to spoil anything for me. Um, you have a reverence for this game. Cool. Good to know. Uh, that is all good. Okay, so landing... Oh, is this the landing mode? I'll be honest, I've never used this, like, downward... Am I just, like, not seeing it? On the left side of the globe. Oh, like, the, the dots? Interesting. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. I wouldn't have figured that out, I don't think. I, don't th I just th don't think I would have even noticed that. So I want to go to the North Pole. Is it not coming up? I'll try this way. Oh god, don't go in the sand. There we go, okay. Haha! -ha! I guess I could have also used the, uh, uh, whatever it's called. The sound, sound thingy, thingy new bob. All right, cool. All right. Yeah, I don't think I would have figured that out. Yeah, so stuff like that is fine. Um, does not bother me. I'm still kind of, like, new to streaming also, so I'm kind of, like, testing out the waters of, like, what kind of gameplay uh, experience I want to have on stream. And it's, it's kind of a... It's kind of, it's been 
hard to pin it down, really, because I like to have... The sun is all over the place. I want to have a collaborative experience with my chat, and I want you guys to participate in my games. And I think that once I'm not playing this game, like when I'm playing Hades, I don't, I don't care what kind of hints and suggestions and stuff everyone throws at me. So I'll, I'll find the right balance. It might be game dependent. I don't know. I'm gonna be talking out loud a lot today, <laughs> of like of my inner, inner thoughts. Um, you had no idea, most because you never used landing mode. Yeah, I'm gonna start using it now. You wanna eat onions now? Doing great. Thank, well, thank you guys. I appreciate that. Not having hints is completely valid. It, yeah, I think it's good for this game. Um. Oh, it's you. I take it your first launch went well. Welcome to the Hourglass Twins. Mine the sand now. What are you up to? Hornfells noticed our star charts are out of date, so I'm up here to update them. But something seems off. How to put this off? I've seen, what, 10 supernovas by now? 12? They're in the double digits now, and that's, you know, not normal. Not normal at all. Was there something you needed? I found something. I found your notes about Adelrock's main crater. Did you? I hope they were useful. The planet I mentioned may have uh, been frozen solid or just partially made of ice, but, uh, much like cold, much like a colder giant's deep. It's hard to say. I've, uh, it used to be the fifth planet in our solar system. You'll notice, of course, that there's no such planet now. It's in its place is Dark Bramble, which, how do I put this, grew into the space the fifth planet used to occupy. That is, Dark Bramble is quite, liter quite literally appeared at the center of the fifth planet and began destroying it uh, from the inside out. Eventually the planet shattered completely and its shards flung across space. Some of these shards collided with the celestial bodies within our solar system, such as Adelrock, which I believe is how its biggest crater was formed. Oh, it's you, I take your first launch. Well, I have more questions. I found more stuff. Uh, found Nomai writing uh, about a hidden planet. How fascinating. Might interest you to know the existence of an additional planet is entirely plausible. If you look at the physics of our solar system, it would just have to be incredibly far out there farther than Herthian ships would be able to travel. And honestly, we don't know all that much about what's out there. Uh, the farther you go, the less we know. As such, it's well within the realm of possibility such a planet exists. Found no my writing about quantum moon. Oh yes, everyone loves a good mystery, don't they? Who wouldn't wander about a moon that's who wouldn't wonder about a moon that's sometimes there and sometimes not? I've observed the quantum moon orbiting each of the five planets, but sometimes it quite simply disappears from the sky altogether. Maybe there's another place it travels to. Unfortunately, if there is, I've never seen it. Perhaps if I take a closer look at these star charts. Hmm. playing after cutting too much onion, right? <laughs> the thought that someone could not like onions, what a world we live in. Um, I know someone who's allergic to onions. Can you believe it? Uh, they have a very difficult time eating food. It's very difficult. Um, I, I think we got all those prompts there. Allergic, yeah. They um, they can only eat like from restaurants that specifically cater to like an all organic, very like basic uh, vegetarian or vegan lifestyle where it's like all very customizable. Um, they they've had a rough time. What? Wait, I was trying to trying to say some other things. Uh, what are what are you up to? Hornfells noticed our star charts are out of date, so I came here. Oh yeah, we did all this. Yes. Um. Why are so many stars going supernova? 
I have no idea. Massive stars go supernova when they reach the end of their lifespan, so it's possible that the stars are older than we realized. Or maybe our models are wrong and they don't live as long as we expected. Oh, so he's observing, like, r random supernovas and not the ones that we're experiencing over and over. Okay. Honestly, I'm not fond of that option either. I'm op not a fan of either option. If our charts are wrong, what else is wrong? And our sun? No, I shouldn't jump to conclusions. I'm probably overlooking something. That's it. I just need to collect more data. What should I explore here? To be honest, I haven't left this lake bed. I don't mean to brag, but I'm really quite good with this little scout. So I've been taking pictures of everything from right here in my campsite. Have you seen the old shipwreck site on Ember Twin's southern hemisphere? The one shooting a bright beam of light into the sky? It's not one of our own crashes, surprisingly enough. It's a Nomai ship. You'll find Nomai ruins across the Twins, but strangely, not a single settlement. Uh, well, we've found the settlement. We've, we've, we've gotten that far. Believe me, if there was no one to see, I'd, um, I'd have seen it with my little scout. So where did they live? Not on the surface, clearly. Ember Twins is full of cave systems, though. Maybe the answer lies underground. How dangerous is it to have big column of falling sand? On scale of 1 to dead, I'd give it a 7 or 8. Awfully pretty, though. Right now, sand is flowing from Ash Twins to Ember Twin. Uh, did you know the process eventually reverses? We're not completely sure why the sand flows back and forth between the Twins, but it seems to be a natural phenomenon. Oh, if you'd like to see something interesting, check out the other Twin once a little more of its sand drains off. I promise you won't be disappointed. Just saying hi. Okay. I know we haven't fully explored the twins here. I've done some stuff, but not everything. Uh, Dave, you're heading out. Um, hope I have a great stream and good day, everybody. Yeah, thank you so much for hanging out, Dave. Have a great rest of your day. mysteriously vanished from a cave at the bottom of the dry lake bed at Ember Twins North Pole. Alright, so this is kind of what we came here for. Nomai noticed a strange wandering rock that appeared in multiple caves on Ember Twins Hemisphere. Yep, we found that. So now we won't be able to go here. We can go back to the other side, though. seen most of of this planet. I've come here a couple of times. Oh, oh man, that just gets me so disoriented. so confusing! It's fine. It's fine. It's fine.
The landing gear is fine. Don't take me to the other planet. I don't want to. Oh, brought my ship also. You know, I should have foreseen that and then just didn't. Are we just gonna go back again? Take me back. I'm ready. Uh, not quite. Oh, I guess, I guess because the sand just comes, it's not sucking it back up yet. It's fine. Keon, when you said what's your level of tolerance towards garlic, I ass just assumed you were talking about boiled garlic. I was like, how dare you? <laughs> You have to go now, uh, but have a good stream. Thank you, Mark. Thanks again for the raid. I'll catch you later. So that just takes me back up to where I just was. something else and this has this has tripped me up a couple times too I've, I've come here once before and I was like oh there must be something right there and then there isn't we don't have a lot of time left so I'm, I'm kind of just exploring a little bit not into shallots okay so here's my here's my recipes that I've been doing with shallots lately is um, I'll make chicken um, or whatever whatever protein I'm making um, and then with the pan sauce like I'll with the the pan scrapings I'll make a pan sauce which will usually be like a fig uh, jam or I really like um, blackberry preserves um, Uh, we made it. We made it to the, the center. And then we're gonna reset. And then I think we'll come here first because I want to get to some of the deep caverns on the other twin before they fill with sand because that's where I haven't really gotten to yet. It's a good song. Hey, Pyro. How do I get in here? That's the other question. Oh, wait, this one's open. It's just a different one that wasn't open. I have been in here before. Alright. 
I just came in from the other direction. But yeah, so then I'll cut up shallot with the, um, cut up shallot with the pan drippings and, um, preserves, and it makes an amazing, um, sauce to go on top. Ah, here we go! Alright. You never mind getting roasted. In fact, it's a little disappointing if you reset without hearing the song. I feel that. Hey, Casper! Welcome! How are you today? Yeah, since you don't really lose progress, it's barely even a setback. Yeah, so I'm like a little bit torn because if you go through the work of like finding a door and um, going, like getting that door open and that kind of takes you a little while and then you want more time to be whatever, wherever that door open to, um, you have to go and do those steps again. And they're usually pretty simple once you figure it out. But it has me a little bit torn where you don't entirely get the reward for doing the work, I guess. There's a few key areas where it's frustrating, I bet. Do I have any entries about the sun station yet? Oh, okay. The negative time interval measure at the light hole station was further investigated at high energy lab. I really need to get in there. The high energy lab can only be accessed by a path from the Sunless City. Okay. So we're gonna go to the Sunless City. Have I used the rumor map? Um like this one a little bit I like occasionally if I'm looking around and I like know I want to get to a specific place I'll go check it out can mark this with the uh, with the rumor mode oh yeah oh what excuse me you can mark them oh my god that'll save me so much time <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm really good at this game I'm doing great I'm doing I'm doing fine. I know I'm doing fine. I'm just I'm just joking, but the sun station. So I know I need to go through there. first for you too and you've watched a few play people play it it seems like there's a lot of those like little things in this game um like i didn't realize the autopilot for a while either uh high energy lab here it is i don't know if i can mark it because i haven't found it yet but but we have to get to it through the sunless city so we've marked the sunless city and we should be okay we should be good to go all right before we waste any time easy to miss. Yeah, I, I, this game does a very good job of throwing you in without overwhelming you with information. Um, but also, you kind of need to really look at things so that you don't miss stuff. And I'm, I like, 
I like being thrown into games, but I'm also guilty of not, like, uh, doing that work where I'm just like, I'll just figure it out. And most of the time I do, but not always. Yeah, it, yeah, it assumes you'll notice some game mechanics or how to utilize them. Oh, don't fall into the sun. Oh, for the love of God. So, I remember how to get to the Sunless City. It's been a couple of streams, but I do remember. Ha. Oh my god, a marker. also mark stuff in the autopilot map. Yeah, I do know that one. I do I do know that one so that you can like use the autopilot and, and go to stuff. Ooh, oh. It's oriented there. Follow the instruction. There it is. And this one it's like just go straight through the thing. This doesn't feel right. Let me reread that. Walk forward until you meet a sandfall and then turn left. Yes, okay. Yeah, I was like, this. What? Sandfall is. Shit. Fuck. 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 Am I trapped in here? God damn it. Which one is this? <sighs> Alright. There were certain parts of Ember Twin you couldn't do because the sand was so anxiety inducing. I understand. I really struggled with uh, Dark Bramble. That I haven't figured out everything there yet. I think there's still a couple things I'm missing. But I have done most of it and no god I hit the wall we're just gonna have to start over to really do this properly which sucks but is what it is oh my god Gray Fox just subscribed at tier 1 for 6 months in advance thank you so much that's so generous of you I'm just playing video games man Thank you, I really appreciate that. Six months in advance. Oh my gosh. Did I just go? I went in a big circle. I'm just waiting for the sand to take me. It's 
just cactuses. Yeah, I'm gonna have more emotes soon. I've got two emotes uh, for tier one right now, but one is still getting approved. I'm gonna have to make more emotes and all kinds of stuff. I don't know what kind of emotes I'm gonna do next. So right now I've got a love, a uh, love bird, and I've got a pog bird. I've got a waving bird. I swear to God, I will get this. At this point, we're just practicing for when I come back the next time. Um, uh, we don't have a sad burb. We have a dead bird. We could have a not like this burb. That would be fun. Just like a bird with its little adorable head and its adorable wings. Alright. Well, we're here now. <laughs> it's fine. Oh my god, just... I, I, I know what it says. Let's go turn on all the lights. Get some oxygen. Ugh. All right. Let's see. So we can't go down to the lower levels now, which is a real bummer. I'm pretty sure I've been to this level. Um, I'm pretty sure I've done some of these higher ones, so let's... Let remind myself what these are without accidentally changing the levels. Eye Shrine. High energy. Trailhead. Yeah, that's the lowest one. Of course it is. You're going to bed now? Have a great night, Keon. Thanks for the follow. I hope to see you around. Done the anglerfish. Stepping stone? We, yeah, we've done that. The, like, kind of school district. I'm actually not sure if we've done this highest one. I will. I will enjoy. Absolutely. This game is unlike any game I've ever played. I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Almost got a face full of cactus there. I've gone... Oh yeah, I haven't figured out really how to navigate the... Uh... Whatever it's called. The dark, scary energy. Without murdering myself. Yeah, the ghost matters. I assume I just have to avoid it. Oh, the sound of the sand is so unnerving. Well, this wasn't even like where I was going, so let's go back for a second. Gravity cannon. Yeah, all of this bullshit. What's down there? Uh, uh, uh it is rhetorical. still figuring that one out. 
Let's see. Can I just fly through here while I die? I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, I didn't die! Hell yeah. Although this just takes me out. That just takes me to the thing. Well, I'm glad to know I could just, like, go through there. Yeah, I'll be more distinct. Like, if, if, I, if I have a yes or no question, I'll be like, okay, chat, yes or no, X question. Um, otherwise, I'm just talking out loud. Yeah, no, thank you for asking. I'll always ask. Like, if you're ever wondering, questions are always welcome. That's just more cactus. All right. Cool. So. Go through there. So that just takes me to the cannon. We don't have that much time left. Evidently. Ow! Face full of cactus. We've already done the anglerfish stuff. This is an exit. Pretty sure I've read this. Yeah, I think this area is very cool. I'm, I don't know... I've been trying to figure out which planet is my favorite. And I, I like, I'm not sure. Um, I think it's really cool that it doesn't really matter where you go. Each planet is disintegrating in one way or another. The only reason I'm not reading this is because I've read it before. Uh, I'm just kind of like scanning it. Yeah. This is where I started to get some like theories about what's happening in the universe. Well, if I don't leave soon, I'm gonna die in here. For a while it was Giant's Deep, but the Ember Twins ended up your favorite. I really like, um, the, uh, let's see, let's go back up here, because at least this way had a way out. Not that it really matters that much, but, oh, okay, wow, made it. Um, yeah, Brittle Hollow, I think, is very cool. I think just, like, that one, the realizing, like, what was happening to the planet, um, I thought was, like, the most interesting surprise. Because, like, the sand filling up when I learned that, it was cool, but it was also, like, wait, panic, and, like, it's nice when you, uh, learn something about an area, but don't have to, like, necessarily panic. L yeah, and lots of info about, about the Nomai there, too. So, let's see. When I'm ever- I'm, I'm at- this part point in the game where I have like less than five minutes left. I'm never quite sure what to do. Um, I think I'm just gonna fly into the sun to reset so that we can go back there. Um, oh god, why are we spinning? Can I pause the game for a second? I sure can. Lots of info about the people and how they- yeah, yeah, yeah.
Okay. All right, I want to go back to the Ash Twins again. I want to go to the high energy lab. I don't know what you two are discussing here, but I will, I'm sure I'll figure whatever it is out. And back we go. This time I won't fuck up getting to the city. And then we can go down to the bottom, see what's down there, because I haven't been there yet. Actually, we'll go here first and we'll mark it. Is it's on the city. Okay. Gotcha. Quality of life thing. Yeah, for now. Um, for now, I think I'm good. I'll let you know if I need help, or if I if I want that piece of information. Um, the reason why I, I've said I think I've said this, if not once, twice, but the the reason why I'm hesitant for taking that information is because it seems like those things I'm likely to have the game explain to me sooner than later. Um, so unless it's like like a mechanic thing, like with the, the ship landing, I found that the game has been like telling me kind of the things that I've been asking for clarification about. Okay, down, down, down. Perfect landing. stream for another hour, hour and a half or so. I want to stream for longer, don't get me wrong. We'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling. Okay. Oops. Wrong button, wrong button. Emergency escape hatch. I noticed that one before. Sometimes it's hard to stop, mainly because you want to keep playing. Yeah, I mean, I ran into that uh, the other night with, um, with Kai Bear when we were doing our... Wait, hold on. Is this the one where I go forward and then take a left at the sand? Yes. Alright. Not gonna make the same mistake. When I was streaming with Kai Bear, like, we were having such a good time playing the game and having conversation that, um, when I turned off the, the stream, it was my time, 2am. I was absolutely exhausted, uh, but it was such a good time that I just kept playing. <laughs> All right, I will not fall into the sand. I will not fall into the sand. I will not fall into the sand. Ha! stream six hours straight and it was um, 
uh, so much fun and then you passed out. Yeah. Okay. Nope. On. Alright. Down we go. I think this is the fastest I've ever gotten here. Like this. Oh, how do I do this? Do I just go faster? Oh, I'm gonna die. What the hell? Oh, what? All right. Maybe I'm not supposed to follow this thing. Is there a way up and around? totally lost? Am I screwed? Oh, I'm so screwed. Oh, this... This sucks. Goddamn. Was there any note that I missed about how to navigate in here? I think I missed my chance. I think I was right to follow the, uh, this path, but then I don't know how to get through that sand. There's that. I saw something. Is it? Did I get lucky? Am I just back at the, uh... Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. You're here just in time to watch me try to not get squished. Man. That stunk. Kusanaji? Kusanaji Soul? Do you have a, uh, like, a, a preferred way to say your name, please let me know. I'm terrible with Twitch names. I I've, was watching another streamer, so I'm curious how you all feel about this, so let me know your opinions. Um, another streamer I watch, when they see someone follows, they do not call out the person's name, they just say thanks for following, and then if the person engages chat, they'll then address them by their name. And I like that approach because it... Um, it, it doesn't single out lurkers who don't really want to bring attention to themselves. Because when I first started on Twitch, I didn't like when people called me out. Um, I said it fine? Oh, cool. I'm doing great. I'm doing really good. That's a good approach. I think I'm going to start doing that. Oh, yeah, and then this was the kids. This was the, the sad kid story. another door here. I think I just need to try again with the, uh, the lab, though. But how do I get through that sand? Let's just try flying through this one. Like, it, it just pulls me straight down. Most of the time you watch and don't say anything. Hey, we really appreciate our lurkers around here, so that is A-OK. -okay. You are welcome to participate in chat if you want. You do not have to. Whoops. 
Yeah, I lurk a lot also. Uh, a lot of time when I'm just like watching other streamers on Twitch. Um, I am I'm at work. Um, so like, I'm half watching the stream, I'm half working on projects, or maybe I like have to dip in and out for meetings pretty often. So, I, I, I know how it goes. unfortunate about the turn of events here though um, and I don't have the energy to to get out I think I'm just gonna wait for the sand to take me for a minute uh, and then I can re-chat and catch up. And then we'll try this again. We'll try Third time's the charm, right? First try. We'll get this on the first go. Uh, enjoy lurking and lurkers. Lurking and lurker love. Yeah. Uh, so maybe you're from the guys that uh, does not want them to be mentioned, especially when people are offended uh, when they know you're here and you don't say hello. It's not something... Um, to get personally. Oh yeah, of course. Like if if you're friends with a lot of people in in a chat room and you just kind of want to hang out and you don't want to have to be social, then yeah, of course it makes sense to lurk. Absolutely. Don't know why people get offended. Uh, people shouldn't be forced to part participate. I absolutely agree. Yeah, I mean, I I always enjoyed watching Let's Plays. Here we go! It's the slowest squish ever. Um, ooh, oh, oh, I don't like that it cracks like that. Oh, <laughs> that was so gross. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. No, I, um... I, I agree that people shouldn't get offended if someone doesn't want to engage in chat. A hundred percent. It's not a personal thing. It's just socializing takes energy. Yeah. You've been watching and you like how I'm playing the game, especially that you don't want to be hinted as it's essential to this game. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. I was allowing hints for a little while and then it just, I think it got to be a little bit too much. Um, so... Taking a step back. Made a distinct squish noise. Socializing takes energy. Absolutely. People, people are busy. People are doing their things. Like, um, lurking in a stream is not the same as, like, physically going to a place and spending time with people. Yeah, so we didn't see anything new there. All right. I should have, I should have marked the thing. Well, I, I'm glad you're enjoying the stream, and thank you for for hanging out and lurking and um, and saying hi. I appreciate it a lot. land in our favorite spot here. Graceful. Like a ballerina on Mars. Okay. Sunless City, Mark. That's so useful. I do. I, I love that tip there. 
especially you watch during work so you can't always talk and sometimes people's chats are overwhelming almost exclusively watching streams with less than 50 viewers yeah i have found that if if a stream has has more than i i think my uh, my max is probably like a hundred um at that point i'm just watching the stream i don't engage with chat because it's it becomes less of a conversation and more of multiple people throwing information um and, like, both are valid, but I enjoy them for different reasons, right? You know it's frustrating for you all who have played the game before, but it's very important not to tell anything. The experience of the game has uh, been taken... Uh, the experience of this game is being taken from many ways. Yes, everyone's experience is going to be different in this game, absolutely. Yeah, you're shouting into the void. Yeah, when there's like over a hundred people in chat. Harvey! He's yelling. A yelling boy. Yep, yep, yep. Alright. So, we go here. Oh, we take a left. I'm so excited. In a couple of days... Oh, no, you're fine. I figured it out. We're good. Yeah. I really admire people who learn English as a second language. Absolutely. English is like a really dumb language uh, in terms of its rules for how the language works. Um, so I think it's very impressive. All right. Here we go. Let's go. Um, watching people play this is the opposite of frustrating for you. Uh, you love watching people think through puzzles. It's the best way to experience this game new again. Yeah, no, I, I can see that 100%. Refill the oxygen. Light up the corridor. Down we go. So, I still think I'm on the right track with this path. So I'm gonna I'm gonna follow this path until we get to that sandfall, and then maybe I'll try like going up. So here we are. So we can't go through there. Where we can go is up. But this takes us out, right? This takes us outside. Have we been here? This doesn't look familiar. This just takes us back to this area, which I guess is good to know. That doesn't help us at all. Why would I ever go to the most difficult to get area? Man, that's so confusing. I just need to give the, uh... Oh, that hurt. Can I fit through here? Oh, nope! I cannot. Uh... Oh, I'm so sorry, everyone, that you had to hear that again. Step 
a game you'd love to erase your memory of so you can play it again. I can see that, absolutely. <gasps> Saw a video of the developers of this game, um, and they were saying that this game has been made from the curiosity, made made for, made from and for the curiosity of players. I just misread that one. Um, it's so different from other games. It's a very good way to develop games. Yeah, I I think it's it's great to think about having the, the, the player's experience first and not what the, so like you can approach making a game from what the, what the players want to see and what the, play, what the developers want to tell you. Um, and you can definitely tell that they had the player's first playthrough in mind. That was, that was difficult to, to say, but I think you know what I meant. Okay. And that's why you hate this planet. Yeah, it's, the time constraint here is rough, I will say. Oh, oh no. It'd probably help if I was using the right button. Down. You've mentioned uh, people have mentioned Subnautica having a similar method of storytelling. I loved Subnautica. I am absolutely gonna play the uh, Below Zero Blind on launch day. I don't know anything about the next one. Um, I saw like a little bit of alpha footage, but barely anything. I don't know anything about the the story. So um, I'm definitely gonna be playing that. Um, Harvey, it's okay, buddy. Uh, Subnautica was one of my favorite favorite games, like of all time. I love Subnautica. Harvey, all right, all right. I hear you, buddy. Hold, hold on. Come here. No, don't run. Come on, come back. What do you want? He's like, I want attention. No, don't touch me. How dare you? How dare you even think that you can pick me up? Harvey. Cats. Cats, man. They don't know what they want. The door's open. He can come and go as he pleases. He just comes in here and yells. Ember Twins is your preferred planet. Uh, worst has been Brittle Hollow because it's really big maze and you spend a lot of time just to orient yourself. Yes. <laughs> he's leaving now. He's still meowing, but he's leaving. Um, so is Subnautica similar to Outer Wilds? Um, Subnautica is more linear as far as this kind of open world is concerned. Um, because you get little bits of story, but the crafting elements force the game to be linear. Um, where it's like, you can't go deeper until you get a submarine that lets you go deeper. Uh, so that kind of controls it a little bit. Whereas in this game, you can go wherever the fuck you want, whenever you want. There is nothing stopping you except for your own knowledge of how the world works. And that is the best way I can think to describe the two in comparison. So there's similarities, but I don't, I can't really think of any games that do exploration and progress in a similar way to this game. Maybe like, maybe just maybe, um, uh, The Witness, because 
you're just learning how to solve puzzles, and if you don't know how to solve the puzzle, you just have to go back later when you're told something about how to solve it. Oh, there's this here. Oh, that just takes you back up. Alright. Gotta run. Harvey. Oh, and I think I was starting to say earlier and got distracted. In a couple of days, I'm getting a new graphics card. So hopefully this game will run a little bit better. Because it stutters a little bit for me, but not, not a lot, but a little bit. Harvey! What is wrong, buddy? Okay. Alright. Please, please. Oh, god! Damn it. Uh, Harvey, Harvey, come here. Um, yeah, I know. Yeah. You, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna be like this. We're gonna have some Harvey camp time. Poor guy is suffering. He hates being picked up. Absolutely hates it. There he is. This is Harvey. You want to say hi, buddy? He just wants to go down. Ooh, that is a great emote. It looks just like him. <laughs> He's so miserable. Yeah. This is what I'm this is what I deal with. He doesn't know what he wants. Maybe he's hungry. I should check his food. Yeah. But yeah, he is he's so cute. He is very pretty. He's a good boy. Okay, everything is wrong. He's the most woeful creature. He's got a hard life. It's yeah, it's really tough being a cat. Just, like, having to wait for someone else to bring you your food? The bowl is half empty. Do they know? I've been letting them know for days that the bowl is half empty. Can I go around? Harvey, oh my gosh. Buddy, what's wrong? I, like, am just not going to be able to brute force this. I wonder... Can I send a scout through it? Nope. a note somewhere about how to get into the lab. Come on. I just go up this way. Alright. Go back over here. Your cat is uh, positioned directly under the window because she's a uh, spoiled princess. Yeah, Harvey has like a couple of cat trees um, and um, he's got lots of space to roam. He's indoor only, but, it, but it's a, a rather large apartment. Um, I have another cat, Ellie, who's, like, the opposite personality-wise. She'll, like, she loves to snuggle, but only on her terms. So, like, on very rare occasions. Like, once a week, she'll, like, climb up on my lap and just rub all over me. And she's very, very cute. The most, of the, most of the time, she's, like, just leave me alone. So we're back in this area, this, like, labyrinth. If 
Because everything's connected. kind of silly just like run running around trying to like see if there's anything else here I just don't know how to get past that sand waterfall sandfall I'm hoping that there's like a text somewhere maybe I should go back through some of those other areas and reread everything and just see if I can you kept an old office chair because because the cat loves it. Yeah. fish area. This is kind of like the entrance to the Sunless City. And we went through here. Maybe not, actually. I hear you, buddy. I'm gonna check his food really quick. He's not usually this insistent. I'll be right back. Day 394. They still do not understand the severity of a half-full food bowl. The water, it does not run. It sits stagnant in a bowl. I think I will soon perish. This, this poor cat, man. He can't do it. Hey, thanks for the follow while I was gone. Meowing for half an hour in the bathroom? Oh, your food bowl in the kitchen is empty. Yeah, he's a drama queen. So dramatic. He um he loves to go into the bathtub. Just, like, jump into the bathtub and um, 
and just yell. I think he likes the echo. I think it's like fun for him. <laughs> Can I approach this and not die? Well, I can't go in there. Interesting. Oh, that's right, and I don't have any, uh, propeller... propellant. What if I go up? Here. nerve to think she wanted the faucet turned on and then it was your fault when she put her head in it and got wet. <laughs> What's that? Oh, that just closes it. Oh, that's weird. It's a weird door. <laughs> he just like catapulted the door back open as soon as it's closed. Alright, the ghost matter is just down there. Is there anything on that, like, middle platform that I want to get to? I don't really see much. Yeah, super creepy. It doesn't seem like there's that much, like, actually down there, though. Um, for a while, I was thinking that I needed to figure out a way to get past the ghost matter. <laughs> That's a little, a funny little glitch there. Um, the more I play this, the more I think that any time that there is ghost matter, there's a way around it, and I haven't ever seen something in the glo in the ghost matter that was, uh, that I needed to get to. So. What was this again? The gravity cannon. This will at least get us out. Oh, right, but I don't have any fuel, so probably not, actually. I'm probably just gonna suffocate in here. Orc, you're gonna stream 15 minutes in case you're, I was waiting for you. You're eating dinner now. Good to know. I'm gonna play a little bit longer and then I will join you in a bit. Um, I want to figure out a little bit more here because I I haven't really like figured much out this stream. Ooh, I don't think I've been in here though. Well, there's uh, not much. This is just another little... In there is where I want to get to. Oh my god. Oh, I'm suffocating. There we go. Maybe Harvey was just bored. I just saw, um... Ellie, the other cat, start tussling with him in the corner, so maybe they're just, um, just bored. Oh yeah, I don't... I just wanted attention to Faker. <laughs> oh yeah, what are you having for dinner, Orc, if you're still here? I'm curious. I don't know what I'm gonna make for dinner tonight. I, um... I've been using meal kits lately, um, which I've talked about a handful of times. Okay. Let's go back up to the ships. I'm going to read some more of those rumor notes. 
because I, I feel like I'm missing something to be able to get into the high energy lab. Um, also pause here. Um, no, that's fine. Okay. The Black Hole Forge is suspended below the Hanging City. Maybe we should go back to Br uh, Brittle Hollow. It's been a while since I've been there. You found a, uh, found a switch at the Meltwater District that raises and lowers the forge. The Black Hole Forge District is the highest district. Okay. Um, little dumpling balls in a soup with veggies and proteins. Yum. There's um. There's a, a dumpling soup that I love from this Chinese restaurant that's nearby, and now that you've put that in my head, I might have to order that soon. I went out for brunch today for my cheat meal and had French toast, and it was amazing. There's more to explore in that escape pod? Really? I guess I'll have to go back there. And there's more here? Like, this... Maybe not. No, there isn't. Okay, because I... I was very thorough with the anglerfish. Oh, okay. That was a different... Which one is this? This is the entrance. Alright, I guess we'll go back to that escape pod because now I'm curious what I could have missed there. Alright. Let's give this another go. Funny, I thought this was a very like going to be a short game, and it's uh, a very pleasant surprise that I've had a lot more to do than I thought I would. Breakfast is your favorite meal. You'll eat it for lunch and dinner. I agree. Like French toast or omelets, like are my go-to meals. Sometimes I'll even have an omelet for lunch if I'm in the mood for it. We're coming in fast. I'm getting like sucked into the gravity of the other planet. There we go. Come on. Oh. <laughs> Good enough. Good enough. I'll take it. So I'm not gonna beeline it for the that lowest area because I feel like there's another route that I'm supposed to take. be the spot that I haven't been to yet. I feel like no, I feel like I've definitely been here. Yeah, I've definitely read these. Or maybe not, I guess, because it uh it updated something. Harvey, you're still you're still meowing, buddy. Escape pod hatch.
<laughs> glutinous rice balls. That's, I mean, so rice, I love rice cakes. I think rice cakes are delicious, and it's just like mashed up rice. <laughs> back out. Let's just fly around a little bit. This is a top tier food. Yeah, it is. So neither of the other escape pods are on this planet. Let's go back to the ship for a minute. only be accessed by a path from the Sunless City. To use a tower, you must be standing on the warp platform during the tower's alignment with its corresponding astral body. Yep. Alright, well we've got a couple of minutes here. So I'm tempted to just go to Brittle Hollow. Because there's a lot there that I have not explored yet. Oh my god. Yeah, like if I'm ever getting like super puzzled on something, I think it's better if I leave and then come back rather than just like try to brute force it because it could just be relying on information that I'll get somewhere else. And I need to like internalize that because I'm so used to just brute forcing stuff. Because like when I'm playing by myself, I have absolutely no issue with just working on a puzzle for like an hour. Um, but yeah, I'd rather not do that right now. I don't know if I've been to, oh my god, that, I think I've, I've been in here. I have gone in here. I've absolutely gone in here, but I didn't understand the significance of it yet. So maybe I should go back. And this is more of the, uh, that thing moving around. I'm pretty sure I've read this. Yeah, because this is talking about the big rock. Yeah, and I remember that. Okay. So... This one I don't know if I've been to. Bloom, Felix, I have determined this atypical shard of rock is the reason objects in this grove are behaving in a quantum manner. Of note, a unique signal is coming from this shard. Curios uh, curiously, our friend the Wandering Moon sounds the same. 
Thatch, the only other object we've observed displaying this quantum behavior is the wandering moon. I imagine the moon's behavior on uh, and this grove are related. In her note from earlier, Felix mentions this strange type of rock isn't from elsewhere on Brittle Hollow. Uh, what if it isn't originally from this planet? Hypothesis. This quantum shard is from the wandering quantum moon. Perhaps it is even a small piece of the moon itself. I've also heard the same signal uh, the shard produces calling out from Giant's Deep, Timber Hearth, and Hourglass Twins. Suppose there are other shards like this one. Yeah, so we found a couple of them. If not all of them. Yeah, this game definitely encourages multiple visits and exploration for their puzzles, for sure. While you can brute force this game, more likely there's an answer on another planet. Yeah, that's what I've come to learn. I was also talking to my partner about this a lot um, during brunch, and they offered a lot of insight um, about that kind of thing. This planet's so cool looking. Ah! <laughs> so surprising. What days did I take off this week? I have Monday through Wednesday off from work. So I'm gonna get some extra streams in this week. Yeah, I'm really excited. So here's something I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to do. Quantum Tower of Knowledge. Yeah, we have... Well, uh, let me read that again, actually. Just because I've read it before doesn't mean I shouldn't revisit the information. Gotta remember that. Yeah, so last time I waited for this piece to go into space, and then I was able to, um, to go up there. Which I still want to do. The black hole is so cool. Um, but yeah, so so question I guess for you guys a little bit. On Tuesday, I'm doing my birthday stream. Oh, there goes that. Um, and I'm gonna do some baking is my plan. I'm gonna have to do it earlier in the day because I have some dinner plans. Um, I'm tempted to just kind of wait for this part of the place to fall. Um, so I, I can I can make the uh, oh make the cake on stream. I don't know if I'll be able to ice it on stream though, because I'm going to make my own icing and then I have to put the cupcakes in the fridge and let them cool for at least an hour. Uh, probably two hours in the fridge or freezer. So like, should I, can I go up, 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 this one. Um, should I do two separate streams or do you guys not care about watching the icing process? Hello, sir. I'm back. I don't know if anyone's gonna be uh, eager to watch the uh, the cake baking stream, anyways, because I don't have like a proper mic set up for it. So it's just it's gonna be very uh, thrown together, just using like the mic that's built into my laptop, so not even my desktop, but it's, I'm sure it'll work. Uh, depends on if I want to share how I make my icing. Yeah, I'll definitely make the icing on stream, because that also has to go in the fridge. It's just like putting the icing on the cupcakes, I think is pretty satisfying. Ooh, what's this? This is new. I haven't seen this before. Read. 
Uh, well, that was deeply unpleasant. I made it this far, though. I guess that's the part to focus on, and not how I'll eventually have to get back up that path. But wow, this place is sure something. Looks like the Hanging City is north from here, and east from east is a gravity cannon. I definitely want to see that. Another thing, I'm detecting oxygen from somewhere below, which is good since I uh, used up a lot of my supply screaming during the trip down from the surface. As soon as I stop dry heaving, I'm going to head farther down below so I can refill my tank. Okay. So what's this, just like a map then? But yeah, I use like a piping bag for my cupcakes and I try to... Try to, uh... Make them look cool. So I think that part is fun to watch. And then you get to see, like, the finished product, right? So, like, I don't know. I could, like, make the cupcakes on stream, put them in the fridge, go to my dinner, come back, and then ice the rest of them. Or maybe even do it, like, the next day. Yeah, and I've been to all of these. I forget what these are. I wish I could get to my ship's log right now. Because I know a lot of these I haven't been to. Let's go to the Eye Shrine District. Ryback is your favorite. I don't have a favorite person yet. I don't think I like... I don't know. The, the guy on uh, Dark Bramble was cool. He was just like such a badass. Sorry to step on you, but there's a hole up here that is oddly person-sized. No, nope, I've got to do it in like one shot. I wish I could get, like, straight under it. I also am just, like, assuming there's something there. Yeah! Hell yeah! Is there anything up here? Is there anything around here? Oh no, oh jeez. Oh well. Here we go. Oh god, that noise, it hurts, I'm sorry. I did say that I wanted to, uh, go to that tower, although I can't exactly see anything.
of hard to see anything because it's so dark. Yeah, space, please. That doesn't even help me. I was like, maybe it'll get me to somewhere with some, uh, some gravity, some, like, artificial gravity, but no. Oh, the interlopers right there. I've, like, landed on it once or twice, but I, I didn't learn anything when I was there. Oxygen is propellant? That's fine. Just wanna... not miss this thing. Hello! Oh! <laughs> Landed harder than I thought I would. Let's go back to the ship log. As I'm a little lost right now, I won't lie. Um, I thought that I had figured out, after reading the logs, I thought I had figured out the quantum moon. And then, then I, turns out I just hadn't. So, uh, oh cool, this is matching up all of our, uh, all the other rocks we've seen. Okay. Uh, da -da. The shard emits the strange signals, the same strange signals of quantum moon. That is the the quantum tower from the the the, the deep whatever. Whatever it is. What's it called? I need to be better at Giant's Deep. Um, I need to be better at remembering the names instead of just saying the thing, that thing. You know, the, that one. They're not difficult names. <laughs> Helm's Deep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I hope you guys can't hear that, like, if I, if I move and, like, my neck or shoulder pops. If you can, I'm sorry. The Hanging City. I know there's more to explore here. large Nomai Towers form a ring around the Ash Twins equator, but the White Hole Station was used as a model for these towers. For the White Hole Station, uh, which were built for the Ash Twins projects. Okay. I really want to go to the Sun Station. You know what? I'm going to give it one more try. It's gonna go poorly. I'm gonna have to crash into the stupid sun. But I really want to land on it! I don't know how, but I want to. 
I want to go there. There it is. Like, is there even like a landing spot for me to zone in on? I can't highlight it. I have to go fast enough so that I won't just get sucked into the sun also. But I don't know if I'll be able to like catch up to the station. Or if I just have to like catch it when it's going down. Try matching velocity and then maybe as I get closer there it goes I think the problem that I run into is that, like, I always am just getting closer to it, you know? And so it makes it very difficult to try to pinpoint how to land on this platform that moves really quickly in comparison. Oh, that's gonna be too... Yeah, see, I'm just gonna get sucked in. Ugh. Too much, too much, too much. Too far, too far. Oh, I'm slouching so much. Ugh. I should add that to be a, uh, uh, channel point redemption, like a posture check and hydrate and that kind of stuff. I have them as just like regular commands right now, but I don't think people see them very often. I know there's a better trick to doing this. There it is. All right. Go, go, go. Ugh. Dang. This is so hard. This can't be the way to do this. It must be like a, uh, a teleporting platform that I'll just land on it somehow. You know what, where, where is the, uh, Ash Twins? Come here. There must be. One of these platforms must be, I mean, I guess I should land on the, uh, the platform that's, like, here for me. Oh, maybe I can't land on it. It's not letting me. Alright, whatever. Just leave it here. It's fine. But 
But yeah, I'm always taking suggestions for um, uh, channel point re rewards. So if there's something that like you'd like to see, oh, this is probably where I'm supposed to leave my uh, ship. That's fine. Who cares? I'm open to suggestions. Right now, I just really I just have the cat one. Posture and hydrate are good ones. Yeah. Oh, I've read all this. It could be this one. Because that kind of looks like a teleporting platform. Right, and now we're on the back side, so if we want to open that door, we have to go the other side. Ow! Damn it. Be less careless. But I can't get through there yet. I think I need to uh, wait for more sand. to wait until some of the sand clears out. Nope, 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 nope. Too much, too much. Ooh. It's fine. Everything's fine. Oh, it's the cannon. I'll wait for the planet to come around, and then I'll just kind of force myself back over. You can check out the cannon in the meantime. Pretty sure I've been here before. But we'll take a look. I'm like trying not to waste fuel, but also Oh, interesting. I think this is that area that was blocked off before. Shame I don't have a flamethrower. Call shuttle home. Activate gravity cannon. So this is the same one from the- oh, oh shoot. Same one from the, uh, Quantum Moon. So if I fire, I'll go to the Quantum Moon. I don't know if I want to do that right now, though. I feel like 
the last time I came here. This didn't work, though. So that's... Curious. Alright, planet. I want to go to the your, your friend. show up on the horizon. Oh, I love when the gravity gets wonky like that. It just starts to get a lot lighter. sand. Yeah! That's very satisfying, I must say. Maybe not that one. Maybe. I don't know for certain where any of these go. Oh, it doesn't help that I'm out of fuel. Where is my ship? It is parked over here. Might as well just go refuel. Make my life a little easier. I guess I actually want to be careful not to put my ship somewhere that uh, it'll get swept up by the sun or the sand. It's hard to tell which ones I've tried, which ones I haven't. This one does not go to the sun. I have done this one before. You know, it'll be interesting to learn if they don't all go to the same place. Like, if this one just happens to line up with it. But nope. I bet that's how they work. I bet any of them go anywhere and it's just wherever they're lined up to. Hmm. 
Come on. Oh, I guess... Wait, no, the sun station has probably been eaten. I haven't seen it in a while. God damn, this is tricky. This game makes you work for it. Yeah, the puzzles can be tiring, and I think that's why it's, like, really easy, especially, I don't know, for me to lean into hints and stuff. Because I... Uh, could definitely very easily see myself, like, asking questions here about how to solve this, but it's like... I will get the answer. I'll get there. I need to be patient with myself, too. Now I can get into this room that I was trying to for a while. Or no, maybe not. This is not the room I thought it was. God, maybe I just have to do this area faster? And just like camp, just like camp on one of these and just wait and see if I teleport. Oh, oh gosh, makes me. I can't imagine playing this game in like VR. Oh, there we go. I don't know why I was stuck. I guess maybe I am upside down. I've definitely read this before. Definitely read this before. Oh! This is the symbol that is on the station. This is on the symbol on the sun station. I am like 90% sure. Where'd I go? Oh. Dang. Dang. Alright. Oh, God. Alright. I think that confirms my idea that any of the teleporters can go anywhere if they're in alignment, though. It was a series of unfortunate events. It sure was. Um... I think I'm gonna call it here for today. Um, I'm definitely gonna play more of this a lot this week because I've got some time off from work, so I really want to sink my teeth into this a bit more and like playing it for a day and then taking a couple days off and all that. It like it doesn't help me retain the information. Um, yeah, more Outer Wilds. I'm I'm into this game. This game is very cool, and I just need to remind myself to be patient with it. Um, and I'm getting there. I've, I've uncovered a lot of stuff. Hey, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Um, where are we going to... I don't even know where we're going to start off on the next stream. It's going to... Yeah, it's going to be... Uh, I don't know. I'm going to think about it. I'm going to think about where I want to go next. And I'll probably be streaming tomorrow. So I hope to see you all there. Thank you for all the new follows today. Thank you, Gray Fox, again for the six months in advance and for Allie for gifting us up to Dave. It was very sweet. Uh, we're definitely going to go raid Orc because I'm going to hang out in that stream and watch some Life is Strange too. So I hope to see you there. And thanks, thanks all for hanging out. All right. Let's pull up the raid. <laughs>